Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I was surfing my feeds using Vienna, which is a free news aggregator for OS X that I, I've uh, kind of latched onto. Not perfect, but the cost is great. And I ran across a blog post uh, from back in July, joeclark.net, J-O-E, C-L-A-R-K-E dot net. And I hope he doesn't mind, but what I wanted to do was actually read it aloud just to save you the time. He writes with the title, Windows Vista, Bill Gates driving his Edsel to his Waterloo. My 1 gigahertz 512 RAM Toshiba satellite notebook was finally bogging down on me after several years of excellent service. It was time for a laptop with more oomph. I compared prices and reviews of all the state-of-the-art computers and decided that I would stick with Toshiba and buy a core duo with lots of RAM, big hard drive, blazing speed, etc. Windows Vista had been out for six months, and I really had not been aware of some of its idiosyncrasies. Within an hour of powering up the new Tecra, I knew I was going to have trouble. After several days of searching for drivers, tweaking, crashing, BSODing, wrestling, sweating, not sleeping, learning, tech help calling to Toshiba, and just general frustration, I returned the notebook to the vendor who was not that pleased to take it back. He begged me to keep it. I begged him to take it. He offered me a reduced price copy of Windows XP to install in the new machine, only if I would reformat the Vista machine. Aha! I said, Toshiba already told me that 2007 Vista machines would not be driver compatible with Windows XP. He then said nothing and reluctantly refunded me $1,200. Okay, I am a cheap power user and refuse to spend the two grand on a computer. I mean, why should I have to install Windows Virtual PC 2007, which I did, in order to run many of my apps? By the way, MS Virtual PC does not support USB as of this week. Virtual PC is actually an operating system, XP, running in s separately within Windows Vista. I think that's his particular configuration of it. Vista should be enough, but third-party software developers have been lax and unenthusiastic about matching their programs to Vista requirements. One thing that I needed on Vista was my WinFax program, which Symantec has not even attempted to supply drivers for. I will not blame Symantec, although I will think twice about any of their products in the future. Even as Chris Perlow has said, Vista may be a 50-50 proposition for new computer buyers as well as upgraders, but not for me. Not only are needed software drivers very scarce, the entire interface is klutzy. Too many ways to mention, but whoever thought of revising the Explorer file finder scheme should have included the listing the C drive in the left pane. Why should I have to search for the root of all folders when wanting to look at the folders sitting neatly like ducks in the left pane as has been done since Windows 3.0? Okay, I like to learn new things, but only if the new things increase efficiency. Game players may love Vista and maybe some folks who have never used Windows XP. I really believe Microsoft has jumped the shark on this one and one service pack coming out in 2009 according to one comedic blogger will not fix the problems. If you really like Vista, prepare to buy newer software programs as many of your old XP programs will not fit. You may have to buy new peripherals such as printers, fax machines, scanners. You, you, you may not even find drivers for some Vista approved products, much less non-Vista products. I was also not thrilled with the permissions and interruptions in Vista that intrude while doing normal tasks. Do you want Windows to do this? Do you want Windows to do that? Why should I have to hack the registry in order to debug Vista? Even something as simple as changing the URLs for browser links was impossible. Power users are so used to shortcuts and tweaks in XP, I do not think they'll be happy with Vista, which will be pushing MS's cruel intentions, and unsupported XP off the shelf in a year, even while some computer manufacturers are installing XP on their newer computers because of all the complaints. Dale, Acer, Toshiba have... Oh, I think he meant Dell. Sorry. De Dell, Acer, Toshiba have made complaints, and some have demanded that Microsoft allow them to sell XP computers despite Microsoft's objection. According to Vista Beta Tester, Geekoid Chris Perillo, oh, actually, he mistyped Christ Perillo, 
Woohoo! Google his YouTube comments and others. Vista is actually beta software tested on beta software. I believe Perillo attempted to advise MS on some quirks but was ignored. I was never so relieved as when I returned the Vista Toshiba to the retail store vendor and then proceeded to the Toshiba Direct website to order an XP professional laptop which are quote unquote flying off the shelves. I could find no one else selling XP on newer computers. I do cringe a little when I see all these better laptops selling buku cheap during these back to school sales weeks, but at least I know that I paid more for a better product, Windows XP Professional. Thank God for those vendors and manufacturers who have held out and have seen the light that there are so many people who will not be happy with Windows Vista. Now, this was posted by Joe Clark on July 25th, the day before my birthday this year. Uh, suffice it to say that despite months later, uh, still finding the same frustrations, Joe. Uh, I'm sure you are as well. Uh, your uh, experience uh, is quite familiar to me, certainly, on a personal and professional level. Uh, your story is not unique. Uh, I appreciate you blogging it, and I hope that by sharing your story with my community uh, that they will understand that it's just it's not me who's out to get you know, Microsoft. I'm not. I love Microsoft. You'll pry my Xbox 360 out of my cold, dead hands. Uh, <laughs> Silverlight's going to be awesome. Have you seen what they've been doing with Popfly? Microsoft Office, it's, I like what it's got, at least inside of Outlook. We'll see what happens with the next version of Microsoft Office for, uh, uh, for OS X. My point is, is it's not necessarily a Microsoft thing that we may have against them. It's a Windows thing that we have to deal with. And I think the title of your post sums it up quite nicely, although Bill Gates really isn't at the helm anymore, driving his Edsel to his Waterloo. Um, quite appropriate, I think. Uh, I really do believe that. It's not, uh, the sky is falling, the sky is falling. Joe, we are not alone. So if anybody else out there happens to have uh, any Windows Vista tales of success or woe, I'm sure you've been posting them anyway. I, I'm not crazy. I'm not. I'm not the only one out there. It's problematic. I know this. Uh, I tried to make it better uh, in small ways, very, very small ways. Um, and actually, I can tell you this. It was very vindicating uh, to see Quick Look inside of Mac OS X Leopard because when I was invited to a private event at Microsoft, I told them to do that same thing years before anybody knew it would be inside of OS X. I said you need to make a feature inside of Explorer that when you hover over an icon it gives you a bigger preview or do something so it gives you a preview and you can scroll and you can look without actually at opening the program that you know was meant to be edited or viewed in. And they kind of understood it but didn't. I did try. I did try and I continue to try. So anyway, uh, if you've got any other tales you want me to pass along, I you know if you got a good blog post, maybe I'll read it aloud too and share it with the community. So long as you can write pretty well, uh, you can string two words together and not sound too crazy. Uh, you can email me chris at perillo.com. Of course, I'm sure you're already leaving comments in this post. I haven't had a problem with Windows Vista. I eat potatoes. Um, sorry, um, that wasn't a slight against you, Data Lore. We love you. We do. Uh, of course, you're also welcome to swing by the chat room if you're having problems with Windows Vista. I also got to tell you about help.lockernome.com. It's a set of forums run by a few of our classic Locker Gnome community members, including R.A. Goretsky, uh, who also has been stopping by the chat room late at night. Uh, so uh, you should be able to, to meet him if you're having problems. We're always here to help uh, the whole lot of us. And uh, if you want to go to the chat room, you only need to go to one URL, no matter which operating system you happen to be using. And that can specifically be found at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.